the ostrich is the latest animal added to Stardew Valley. And let's be honest, it's pretty damn cute. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to get your very own ostrich. It's quite a long process, so let's get started. The first step is getting the ostrich egg. All you need to do is play and do other stuff on Ginger Island until you get the journal note number 10. It will then show you where to find your first ostrich egg. It's right over here under this tree. That was pretty easy, right? Unfortunately, getting the ostrich egg incubator is much more adventurous. First, you will need to restore this bridge by donating 10 golden walnuts. Then, you will get access to the dig site. There are a bunch of golden walnuts here, but what we are interested in is this rock blocking a mushroom cave. You won't be able to destroy this with your axe. Only bombs work, so just bring a bomb and free Professor Snail. After freeing him, he will give you a speech about how thankful he is for saving him. And of course, he will give you a big task. Find a bunch of ancient fossils for him around Ginger Island. Finding all of the fossils will get you a ton of golden walnuts and the recipe to make an ostrich egg incubator. The first fossil is pretty easy to find, the mummified frog. All you need to do is go to the east side of the island close to Leo's hut. Just whack the leaves with your sword or scythe and after a few days, you will get a mummified frog. The drop rate isn't that low. I even got two mummified frogs on the single run, so you shouldn't struggle finding this fossil. Next up is the mummified bat. Also another really easy one to find. Just dive deep into the new volcano dungeon and mine rocks and minerals. Eventually, you will get the mummified bat. To make life a little bit easier, bring some bombs and destroy large chunks of rocks for higher efficiency. Next up, let's take a look at the fossilized snake. The fossilized snake is much more difficult than the previous two since it requires more than one fossil and some of the pieces have a much lower drop chance. First, you will need to find the fossilized snake skull. This one can either be found by fishing on Ginger Island Farm or by hitting wormholes on the dig site. Not too hard to get this one. The snake vertebra is where it gets tricky and kind of frustrating. You can only find it by hitting worms on the beach under your ginger farm. The problem here is that these worms hardly show up and when they do, they rarely drop the snake vertebra. This took the longest amount of time to find and you will need to find two of them. Good luck! Now that we have all of the previous fossils, we can work on the fossilized large animal. First up is the fossilized ribs and legs. You can find both of them by hitting these rock bones at the dig site. You will need to find two fossilized legs and one rib. You will find them in no time. The large animal has six pieces before it's fully restored. One of them can be found by cracking open golden coconuts. You can find golden coconuts by shaking trees on Ginger Island and eventually you will get quite a few of them. They have pretty great stuff inside of them like tree sapling and iridium ore. If you struggle to get this fossil, you can trade regular coconuts for golden coconuts at the island trader. The fossilized spine is the fifth item we need to find to complete the large animal fossil. You can get it by fishing right over here by the dig site. I was pretty lucky and got it pretty early on, but I heard the drop rate is actually really low. Hopefully you can get it easily like I did. We are almost there. Just the one more fossil left to complete the set. And the last item is the fossilized tail. The fossilized tail is almost as hard to get as the snake vertebra. You will need to use your panning tool to pan these golden spots in the water by the dig site. The issue here is that the golden spots don't appear that often and when they do, you get plenty of random stuff that you don't actually want. Eventually, you will get the fossilized tail and be done collecting all of the fossils to complete all the sets. Now we just need to complete the sets and hand in the pieces to Professor Snail. Donating all of the fossils will get you 11 golden walnuts, which will definitely come in handy. Professor Snail will also give you some tree saplings, and yes, the recipe to craft the ostrich egg incubator. That was quite the journey, but let's craft this thing and hatch our ostrich. To craft the ostrich egg incubator, all you need is 50 bone fragments, 20 cinder shards, and 50 hardwood. You can only place it in a deluxe barn, but for some reason, I was under the impression that it would go in the coop. After placing it, place your ostrich egg in the incubator and wait 12 days. 
And just like that, you have an ostrich. They are cute and will produce ostrich eggs. A single ostrich egg can be placed in a mayonnaise machine and will produce 10 mayonnaise per egg, which is pretty impressive. I'm not sure how frequently the ostrich produces an egg, but maybe we can replace all the chickens with ostriches. Thank you so much for watching this video. This was kind of frustrating. Finding all of those snake vertebrae was kind of a nightmare, but eventually I managed to get them. If you have completed the island field office, which fossil did you struggle with? Let me know in the comments below. As always, I will see you in the next video.